Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is you are. Hope you're having a nice day. Um, oh, Phantom, some some stretches, right? God damn it, dude. <laughs> this morning we could get okay <laughs> fair enough you know fair enough I mean it's not much but I guess it does the trick Stretch my legs a little bit. You cannot see because of the chair, but I'm not going to move the entire chair. Just so you can see it. Okay. I think that's good enough, right, Phantom? I've still not stretched the brain. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> and even if I complain about it, I do appreciate it, friend. Because other, otherwise, I'm just gonna be a lazy piece of shit and not move at all. And then by the time I realize my back is all fucked up. Something back. 
Yes, let's play this today. Let's see. Go Yo, Abby, how's it going? Good morning. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Uh, Go Satsu is for like. Uh, I know it was for like books, but it was like things that were. You know? You know. <laughs> I forget exactly. Let me look it up real quick. For books. No, it's for books. Mm -hmm. uh, this is for small animals and stuff. Some my this is for sheets, really. Rakusatsu. Um, it's a cup. Nanasatsu. Saturday is no yobi, no yobi, no yobi. Uh, Hatsuka. Give my. Good. Take a day. Kyo wa. Nisan ni ju ni nan. Ichi gatsu. Ni ju san ni ji. Da. Hatsu. Ni ju san. I was wondering maybe if it was Hatsu and Mika or something. Weird, but no. You know what? Hatsu G. Yunju Raku Rapun. Yunju Rapun. Sanju Biogai. So, what? I'm going to make it. Yunju Ni Nichime. Let's add some more counters to that. Okay, today's counter for small, often round objects. Ah, I knew something familiar. Private. Because if you add Nin or Hito, it becomes Ikkojin. 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 So for private or personal. Interesting. So peace, Ikko. Ikko, Ikko. P. 
piece fragment object. Hmm. And then you are it gone and not pins the stuff. Pens. What the hell is a pens? Let's add some more. It go. It go. Yeah, it's not gonna tell me at all. Is it? Okay. I'm gonna look for maybe the pitch accent, but it's not gonna tell me. Ah, Nanka-san! Konbanwa! Okay. Okay, this guy. I was seriously debating between saying Genki or Ogenki this guy. I couldn't decide, so I went with it. Normal. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, come on, it, it's a struggle for us learners. Oh, <laughs> 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 Yeah, no, it's just everything when you speak neatly, even if it's informal. So I can just say Ogenki without adding the, the ska. And that's still acceptable. I just added uh, today this line of counters. Now the most important one is probably going to be this one for generic objects. Guy is also important. Kasha maybe not so much. Oh, no, no, no. 
to. When I reached to fear, Favor, apply. Mm -hmm. Is it ready? Yeah. Which one was it? Yeah, I had a feeling what's wrong and that way I, I had to look it up. I'm gonna add, at some point I have to put a list of verbs that are heaven and a list of verbs that are unlock up that are very common and familiar. And be like, okay, properly say them please. Thank you. This was like to deceive, well, not to charm, but in a deceitful way. Yeah, which means beguile. But I don't know what beguile means or is, because I've never used that word. <laughs> Disturb. Pretext, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, recess. That doesn't look very good, but hey. Pressure. No, no, I'm calling. I still don't know how to pronounce this word in English. Unfortunately. <laughs> Are cold, probably better if I don't wear the glove for a little bit. Breath, bed. Oh, yeah. Oh. Kanjiri, Kanjiri, yeah. or just Kanji or Kan. <laughs> Oh, 
Au soleil. Au soleil. Au soleil. Oh, this was um, what was it? Dry um, authority. Yes. Wait. Oh yeah, Wishi has the accent on she, so there's no way you could devoice that. Because if not, the world would have no access and be Mush. Mush. <laughs> and Mush is not. Set free, let go. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can hear the notifications unless I. You started hearing at the second half, right? Thanks for the bits, whatever that was. <laughs> Arigato. I have the feeling it's in a phantom or set, but you know, it could be anyone else. Turn someone in it up. The quasi got him. This is it. Oh, this was lack. This a little bit better. Never mind. It's still stinky. Oh, I guess I'm not putting the thing at all. Um, oh yeah, I'm caught up. Oh, grind. Recess, which is also in QK. QK. It's the K part, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Motion. The following next.
Uh, right, concept. My train of thought went completely somewhere else for a moment there. Stopped at another station completely. I suppose to was related. Actually, I'm doing the thing backwards again because mirror. Melancholy favor. This is the charming and sinful way thingy. The guile, right? The guile. It's a lady. It's a Sometimes I do change the pitch in between intentionally to see how it sounds here, but so I can clearly hear if I'm properly saying it. Obaka. Yeah, obaka jimate, makabaka. Kanji. Kanjiri. Kanjiri. Okay, let's just start on key real quick. I actually intended to use there we go. That thing today. Come on, let's do that. Come on.
jako... Jako... Ja. Jaku. 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 Opposite reverse. Good night. Tonsai. Tonsai. <laughs> Having so and the and then Zai. That's gonna messes me up with a bit existence man. Uh ooh, look at that. Nice. I forgot I did this. And that that look neat. Since I learned like that, I've been curating more and more. It, like not just for opponent in sports, but I, in like many more situations. Like partner that they were talking to, for example. Or, like the other party in the conversation in a way. Yeah, I need 
区别是。It came out like a complete straight line, and it bothers me that it did. <laughs> Sounds like I Thank you, thank you. Supposed to write that. Oops. <sighs> cool. So. Uh, with that, let's learn new kanji. Kanji, I'll wear my shop. Wear my shop. Shop or there's a lot here. One by one, one by one. With a So, how's head dagger? In the living game, there is instance of a very odd exception. Notice how the final stroke of the head is lengthened, giving the final two strokes a chance to stretch out and make room for the dagger that fits in beneath. Mm, 
goodness. I guess even over here. Turn out the roof. So, I mean, I cannot really imagine a situation in which under your roof someone is out for your head right in a way it's gonna kill you with a dagger that your with, uh, wife is gonna become whatever right Now, why is it you, not your wife? And, or why is she, is she not home or something? But at that point, I think I'm making it things too elaborate. I mean, thinking of the fit from my point of view, as a guy, I'd probably get a wife. Probably. Uh, I can just think of this simple thing, right? Roof off of my head with a dagger, right? The usual, because what else are you gonna bring for a silent killing or something, right? Are you, well, I guess a gun, but like a, a gun would break up everyone. I don't know. It just reminds me of one of these cases of like. CSI or something on TV. So yeah, let's keep it simple in this case. Like this. Let's keep it simple, probably the best way to go about it right now. Yeah. I oh, hear this. Minority if you Okay. I mean, by keeping it simple and keeping the things to very few words, that also kind of helps, I guess, for a minority of few. But I don't know. Anyway. For now, let's just write it. Have it. Let's try. Oh, it's a very way make a mistake.
so I drew it a bit all over the place, but that kind of fills out this part, sort of, and that leaves me for this entire line, so I can use it for the next candy line, line, line. And has it really been 42 days already? I know, right? That's why the counter is there for. The more I do, the more days count up, the more I cannot give up because I've already made it this far. Oh well, yeah, welcome DY. Also, can I just say that your name is kind of really hard to see on my end because it's like purple on a black night mode background. So the fact that you even call DY yeah, and it's probably better to see you on a white background. It's kind of ironic in a way. But yeah, 42 days. Wow, huh? Uh, I, I'm, I've definitely noticed the progress. Like, definitely. It's kind of wild how I'm studying grammar and getting familiar with more words. I'm paying attention to pitch acts and what it can do. I feel like I can, I'm almost there to the point where I can kind of just hear pitch accent. It's not perfect, my ear, but it's too much better. My voice, I think, as well. I think I'm pronouncing things better. And I'm understanding things so much more now that I know all the conjugations. For example, yesterday, uh, I found a character on an anime that had a very all a bit older way of speaking in a way and she said all the negatives with new instead of saying sumanai so she said like sumanu like i would have never known that if it wasn't for retire kid purple and black on your end looks fine <laughs> funnily enough when i put uh, my cursor over your message, it uh, kind of highlights it a bit, and I can see it. Because at first I was like, oh, who's chatting? <laughs> right, so ah, it's <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna add this one real quick. Let me see. I'm not even gonna bother writing it, like, I already know. I'm kinda curious to see though. Um, if I can find it on somewhere else. It's probably oh now you're green. So that she so that she huh? <laughs> nice. Does that appear in other other places? So I she Tabo Bombo Bosatsu Bos Oh is she Nice, nice. I appreciate the effort. Actually, uh, I changed my color like what? At the end of last year? I, it had always been blue for the past four years. And I decided to change it to gray. Wow. So I see. Ecstasy. Well. What even is this? Let's see. Oh, another form of Yorokobi? Yorokobi. Not Yorokobi, but Yorokobi. Another form of Yorokobi. I guess. Mighty. Mighty. Yo, it's 
Isn't this a solely get right there? Why did it become huh? It's it's so so okay, okay sure. I mean, thinking of heart or state of mind and a devil or ecstasy, it's not really hard to picture, is it? Also, from today onwards, I'll explain it a bit better later. Uh, my Japanese learning speed is gonna increase um, by doing the exact same thing as did until now, with a little change. And I'm looking forward to it. Okay, that's ecstasy, I suppose. Okay, to keep ah uh, constancy. That's a weird way to put it, but yeah. This is he permanent. Kojo. What do you know? It's a noun. Two kanji for mora. Mora. And it's heaven. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> Cause it soon it call it call call you call your cause at this point I'm kinda curious. Because actually this is a noun to kanji for Murata, this is not heaven, interesting. Anyway. So this is a span of time, really. Um, I remember saying it on Heisei Kanji, a span of time, right? So here's the thing, I, I can just really think of this stream in particular, right? No matter my state of mind, right, or how I'm feeling really, or my heart, or whatever you want to pull it, put it and describe this, or call it in this case. Every day, no matter what happens, I'm going to be showing up, right, span of time. I don't know. Um, for me, it's easier to it's easier to picture that time just passes, things change, but I'm constantly here trying to learn and make a change right, for myself every day. Mm. 
So that's, oh, I'll picture it. Consistency. Okay, and finally, lament. Look, to give this character the stem from others similar of similar connotation, one need only think of the prophet Jeremiah, whose poetry gave an ominous to the state of mind we call lamentation. Huh? The fuck? Now that doesn't help whatsoever. No, itami. Itami. Lament grief grieve over Yeah, I'm thinking of a way of remembering this. Not sure if I wanna share it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna not share it this time. Or you can take your own conclusions based on the meaning I'm trying to remember. But to be fair, uh, so associating more personal meanings to the kanji, right, will probably make it easier to remember as well. So, can you really blame me? Okay, so as a Chinese, you can understand all of these. Nice. Like, get a shite, you can shot. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're kanji, right? Kanji, isn't it literally a Chinese character? <laughs> kanji. No, not that. That's a feeling. This one, right? Chinese character, what? 
Yeah, um, they probably sometimes they do very uh, change on based on meaning uh, on meaning stuff. Like for example, uh, this one, right? I guess I when I was learning this, I remember there was another Chinese in chat that told me what this doesn't mean, boy whatsoever. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it is what it is, right? It makes sense. It really does. I, I. Okay. Um. Yeah. Up next. Right. Hold up. How many did I learn today? With the basic. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Oh, I just didn't write this one. On the memo. Hello, welcome, welcome. What, what brings you here, if I may ask? Uh, learning English, Japanese, just chilling, curiosity. I'm always kind of curious to see what brings people here. <laughs> okay, so next up, let me open up the yeah, one and only memo. Ah, there it is. Good old memo. Four new words. Oh, yeah, today I said that I wanted to learn for two, no matter what. So we're gonna learn for two, no matter what. For two. to just basically normal, ordinary, regular. Where, where, what else is there to do? You know? very fat, fat, but you know, it is what it is. It was my first attempt. Like, no matter how much times I see a kanji, it's, it really is once I'm writing it, and I do the strokes, 
one by one, all by myself, that really gets ingrained in my memory. Like, I've noticed that. Unless, like, it's quite simplistic, something, something like this, for example, just immediately kind of clicks. And it's like, oh. Bad idea, but sure. <laughs> okay. Fatigue. Fatigue. Normal. And one more, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Um, I believe it's and not Tereri. No, it is Tereri. Not Tereri. Okay. Tereri. 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 To be fair, I already saw this one in high sick. But it's it's been a while though. I don't mind copying it again. Now we have it. So, to be shy, really, bashful, uh, feel. Now we do this. And it's low, high, low. Right? Good choice. And there you have it. That's it for today's kanji practice. Uh, I should do uh, the pitch accent ones real quick.
No, yeah. Also, I wanted to talk a bit about what I was thinking earlier regarding learning new words. As you can see, I write down a lot of new words, a lot of new kanji. Uh, and I learn a couple of those every day, right? Which gradually, slowly but surely, does increase my vocabulary. vocabulary. And I, you know, learn stuff and I'm able to read more. However, uh, by, you know, after studying a bit of pitch accent and understanding it better, <laughs> much better now than I used to, um, I realized uh, something, well, it's not necessarily thanks to the pitch accent thing, it's just uh, a matter of how I'm, I've been developing in a way and thinking of different ways and new ways to study Japanese, right? Because the next step for me, it's obviously I feel like it's more and more immersion. That's why I'm trying to cut the streams shorter. It's not, they're no longer like four or five hours, but two, three at most. And because then I go and do immersion, right? Uh, bit with news, anime, or high streams, <laughs> high sheen, I was gonna say, high sheen. And um, it's actually very good. And um, I do pick up words from there that I do write down here. However, the problem is with my current method of learning is that it's slow because I'm focusing just on the kanji. Not like it's a bad thing to go slow, uh, but if I want to keep doing immersion and for that immersion to help me out better, more and better, I feel like I made a great, not, not a mistake per se, more like a misunderstanding. Uh, and it is that I must learn every new word with kanji. And that's like my misunderstanding because I really do love and enjoy kanji. Uh, figure out how, what picture and image to to gather from the kanji, uh, how they are connected, and how different same words that are really homophones, or maybe they have different accent but they're same pronunciation, change in meaning different with depending on the different kanji. I uh, like the little nuances and stuff. I find, find it really fascinating. But the problem is that's all that I've been doing. And um, I feel like to for me to going forward, what I'm, I want to do is for the sake of being able to do better immersion, for the sake of being able to try to do some language, language exchange with uh, Japanese, right? Uh, to be able to even on stream be able to speak more what i'm gonna be doing going forward is learning the words only with the kana and the pitch accent as i hear them and completely forgo the kanji but still study kanji so i will still always sit down here every day for an hour hour and a half studying kanji but then i will also uh have a much faster growing vocabulary list in which I'll add like five or ten a day or something, in which I'm only really remembering the kana on the pachaksa for the proper pronunciation, so that I can pick it up when he listening and I can use it when talking. And then, slowly but surely, a one day kanji will catch up, or maybe not, which is still okay, because um, I realized this because there are still words in English that I'm not entirely sure how to write, really. I'm just taking really, really good guesses in terms of like very educated guesses, right? As you will. Um, that has happened. <laughs> so, what is stopping me from learning the words uh, just from Kana and Pitch Accent? And like, uh, that key is like Pitch Accent will help me like differentiate words much better nowadays. So, like, this is very viable. This is a proper strategy I can use now. So not only will my vocabulary increase from this kanji, also on top of that, much a much, a much faster growing rate by just kana and listening. So that way, the faster I gather that, the faster they are properly implemented into my vocabulary, the more I'm gonna get it out of my immersion, the more I'm gonna be able to speak it, the more I'm gonna be able to do language exchange, the more I'm gonna get from really everything 
and once I get better and better and better at that in Japanese, I'll be able to be much more comfortable playing games or reading stuff in Japanese because it's just going to be a matter of associating a not really known word to the kanji. Because the thought process I had earlier, it's like I'm learning a word on a kanji. Uh, well, I'm learning a word, but then if I don't learn the kanji, then I'll have to overwrite that and be like, no, this is how you do it in kanji. But really, it's just, you know the word and then you add a kanji and it's better and it, it gets fixed better. It, it a, it's not necessarily instructive, it's constructive. Right? So, and actually, on, from my internet pickups, uh, it's it just the worst are st stick the, be the best uh, in terms of kanji and everything really are the ones that I'm used to hearing and listening to and I'm already familiar with. Because it's already very familiar. So, that's what I'm going to be doing forward. I'm debating whether I want to get like some recordings or audio or something uh, for my Anki deck for that. But I'll be making a new Anki deck soon for that. And hopefully that increases the speed in which everything goes up. Yeah, that's, that's what I've been thinking lately. Um, uh, also, that also comes from the fact that I tried to do the vision level, right? And I thought it was early. Why was it early? Because I'm not familiar with the way of speaking and listening just yet. Okay. Why is that? Pitch and Yeah, well, pitch action was one of those. Information. But the other was that. Like, I've been completely going wrong about... Not wrong particularly. It's just... I, I did... I'm, I had a misunderstanding because how did I learn English? Well, that exact same way. You just kind of listen and speak and listen, right? And ne never necessarily decided to write all of those, those words. See, oh, does this have double S, double M? I just kind of heard it, heard it, heard it. And then kind of tried to write it, but yeah. So I think that's the next step. For me to just well next step is probably the method I'm gonna be using from now on. So it's basically I'm still gonna be doing all my kanji, but we're gonna add another way of learning words and trying to remember them that will make the entire process a bit more easy for me when immersing and overall faster to get to the point of Japanese where I wanna get. Right? Again, faster is not necessarily better, but I think by being faster, reaching a better point, I can gather much more from everything and will be much more constructive. It's almost like a better use of my time when I'm doing that, those immersion uh, sessions, right? So yeah, so uh, not only I'm gonna have this memo for, I'm gonna separate this a memo for new words, a memo for new kanji. <coughs> so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing forward. Uh, for now, though, let me just. Uh, what would I, what did I wanna do? Oh yeah. So what I wanted to do um, is the checks and practice. Well, not practice. I wanted to do this. These two flashcards over here. Well, two flashcards. Nineteen flashcards, real quick, over here, and um, then keep with a bit of keep doing a bit of that theory, basically. That was uh, the in terms of conjugations, and um, we'll probably see. Uh, watch like one more video of Campanas to Japanese to gather a bit more from pitch accent. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I wanted to address. Hopefully, it can clear. Assuming anyone is listening still, but I do think it's unimportant. I do think like I realized something important lately, thanks to that. 
And I'm looking forward to doing that. Okay, so uh, let's do these um, pitch accent uh, flashcards real quick. I'm gonna jump into the theory right away. Do they not have water? Yes, I do have water. Not the best, but hey, it's water. Uh, okay, with that said, though, hold up a little bit. で説明しましょうか。どうか。今の。なんというか。まあ。やってみます。あ。や。説明しようとしますかな。はい。あの。今は。<笑> え、なんていうか。新しい言葉の覚え方を変わりたいです。あの、今まで新しい言葉を覚えたかったら、あの、漢字は必要と思いました。ま、私は漢字大好きだから、漢字大好きだから。でも、最近気づいたけど、あの、配信の後でいっぱい日本語を聞きます。アニメからや、配信からや、いろんなところですね。だから、あの、新しい言葉、漢字、とだけ覚えたらそれは遅いです遅いですだからこれからあのひらがなとアントネーションってだけで新しい言葉を覚えますあのそれと毎日漢字練習とそれは変わりませんまだ普通な一時間ぐらいで漢字練習をしますけど、それと新しい方法をします。はい、それはあの五言かな十ぐらい毎日を覚えたいです。だからあの。いろんな日本語を聞いてますときにあのそれはもっと役に立つしますという役に立ちしますかなはいそんな感じでそれだけじゃないですあのそれそんな早い方法で私はこの配信にもっと日本語で話せますとあの日本人とディスコードでかたとえば日本語で話せますあのそうそんな感じ伝えたかどうかあんまり知りませんけどそそんな感じ はい。ということで、今日のイントネーション練習します。はい。心は心はでも心のはい、穏やかでものと平和になる。言葉は言葉は
でもあ言葉は言葉は言葉はうんわかるいえまあおバカはしてましたけど多分多分ちゃんと言いませんでした言葉は言葉は言葉の言葉はうんなるほど言葉は、はいはいはい。頭は、頭は、頭は、頭は、と、頭の。頭は、頭は、でも、頭の。はい、これも、あっちは、あっちは、あっちは。あっちは、はいはい、あっちは、あ,あっちの、あっちは、あっちは、あっちの、はいはいはい。返事は、返事は、返事は、返事は、あっそい。返事は、返事は、返事は、返事は、はい、返事。返事は、はい、返事は、返事は、返事は。バカみたい。まあ、あれ。あ、返事の、返事の、返事の、と、返事は多分最初は最初は最初は、はい、最初は平和<笑>いつもいつも、はい、あんたあんたなんでなんで子供は子供はすべてすべてすべて、うんはい、<笑>普通は普通は、はい、今日
覚えました漢字漢字ね漢字漢字普通はあそこはあそこははいはいこれをちょっとデリートしますこのいやダウンクしますどこあここはいデリートはいあの例えばあの新しい言葉の覚え方、例えば、何て言うか、はい、これ、New Listening and Speaking Vocabulary。これ来たはずですけど全然覚えたいや忘れた、はい、好奇心好奇心好奇心好奇心、はい、<笑> curiosity ok so that's it Inquisitiveness. I have no clue what that is, so I'm not even gonna bother. So we do Ko Ki Shin Ko Ki Shin. This is it. So we are low, high, high, low, high, high, low. それはあのこれはあ例題あの新しいの覚え方。ユニバーシティ、クリアシティ、その好奇心。はい。かなとイントネーションでだ,だけで。あとでいつか。いつか漢字を漢字を<笑>覚えます。でもとりあえず、たは言葉を覚えます。そんな感じ。はい。でもとりあえず、今日。今日のなんてイントネーション練習じゃなくてなんていうかただノートを書きますイントネーションのことねはい、so let's finish、um, my notes regarding pitch accent Uh, for verb conjugation, um, 
Yeah, we probably... I don't know. Is there something else? I have until like 11. Assuming I want to keep it for that long to the stream. Because it's been almost two hours. Well, almost. It's still like 20 minutes left. たぶん、今配信を終わりましたら、と日本語、いや、と、のと書きながら日本語聞きましたら、方がいいと思います。配信ではないそれはそんな方がいいと思いますだから今日の配信を終わりたいと思います短くなったけどそんな方がいいと思いますまあ明日から あの、新しい言葉を覚えます。もっと暗記のソフトを使えますから、こんなに短くなりませんです。あの、あ、yeah, <笑> uh, I think I'm gonna end the stream here. Um, I'll be finishing this notes while listening to some Japanese and tomorrow we can learn more stuff and um, yeah はい。ということで、今日の配信を終わりたいと思います。短くなった、なりました。すみません。あの、はい。申し訳ない。申し訳ありませんまこれは私の日本語のためにねはいまあ、I'm We'll learn some more pitch accent in terms of like videos from campanas to Japanese, uh, probably, or other forms maybe. And um, I'll be trying to increase my vocabulary as well from uh, with you know this new method I explained. Hi, Otsukaresama de Stamina san. Hi, Oyasumina sai. Kyo hosto to ka yarimasen. すみません。はい。またね。<笑>